images are the language of the 21st century, not words. Uh, kids are now, are now texting and messaging emojis, bitmojis, stickers, Instagram, Snapchat video. So it's really a world of pictures. And unless we get with it and understand their native tongue, we may miss the chance to equip this next generation. I started Growing Leaders in 2003 to offer leadership training and tools to kids in schools, organizations, nonprofits, ministries around the world. And we offer those same leadership tools to disadvantaged students in Title I schools, ministries, or organizations, wherever they are. I was very shy. I did not like speaking in front of people. When I went into high school, I became the freshman class president. I went to the first meeting. There were 50 people, and I was one of like five freshmen that were there. Um, and we were in this small little room, and everybody was just, you know, talking, and it wasn't, there were not any clear goals. It wasn't like there was any formal way to run this meeting. And then you fast forward to my senior year, and we have like over 300 people at this meeting and we're having to, you know, we're packing out like a gym. We believe Habitudes makes leadership training different because it makes the training short. You can teach a picture in just a few minutes. Simple, you can understand it right away. Sticky, you never seem to forget it. And shareable, the student that learns it can actually share it with someone else themselves. You know, you see, okay, 90% character, 10% talent. But when you look at the iceberg, you're like, whoa, okay, so yes, I only see this small chunk, but the iceberg is actually this huge thing that nobody ever gets to see. The mission of the Growing Leaders Initiative is to turn ordinary students into life-giving, growing leaders um, and transform society. We actually utilize their curriculum here. I think I've probably learned more from the curriculum than the students that we help facilitate. He's such a classic illustration of the kind of people I know that are at Jackson that just make the world a better place, starting with this little organization called the Growing Leaders Initiative. So we've got the content that we believe these kids need right up here and right in here. But Jackson Healthcare and their grants have been able to provide what's necessary to get it to Nairobi, Kenya, or India, or some of the schools right here in America that would not be able to afford it themselves. We were just really able to create a culture, first define who we were, you know, let everybody know, okay, yes, we don't, we don't have it all, but we have spirit, we have pride, you know, we have love for, our, you know, our community. Our ultimate goal is to reach 1% of the youth population of the world. So we ask ourselves, what would it look like if 35 million kids around the world got on board with being a life-giving leader who knew how to solve problems and serve people? I can only imagine.